hi everyone today we'll be building our first ai application let me show you what is it that we are going to build and let me talk about how we will build it this is what we'll build here today let me refresh it this is the application that we are going to create today in this you just have to type the topic that you want and the number of tweets and it will give you the tweets how magical is that let me just say world war one number of tweets is equal to three and generate we see that the code is running and we have three tweets uh, just like that great now let us just try to understand uh, how to create this particular application before we get into creating this particular application let me just go to chat gpt and try to do the same thing we'll understand what is happening within chat gpt and then we'll try to do the same thing in our application as well i have chat gpt opened here in this particular uh, part i have asked it to generate three tweets on world war one and it is actually generating three tweets here to understand what is happening in this particular part you can just see that the one that i've typed here is called prompt this prompt is being passed to a large language model large language model is uh, a gpt model gpt 3.5 gpt 4 there can be llama model so on and so forth but since we are using chat gpt the default model is uh, gpt 3.5 whenever there is a prompt this prompt is being passed to a large language model. This large language model will then create a response here. This is the basic structure, right? So whenever you give a prompt, this prompt is being passed to a model and this model will generate a response that we are seeing it here. Let us try to do the same thing in our application as well. Let us just try to understand what is happening in our application as well. This is the application that we have. We are typing in the topic name. We are typing in the topic name. We are typing in the number of tweets, but where is the prompt coming from? So if we have seen in this particular part, there is a prompt that is being passed to an LLM and then we are getting a response. So in this particular case, what we'll try to do is we'll combine the topic and the number of tweets, then create a prompt based on it. And then this prompt will be passed to an LLM which would be GPT-3 model in this particular tutorial. And then it will fetch us a response. This is what we'll be creating in this particular tutorial today. We'll be focusing mainly on the backend part. Whatever you are seeing in the front end uh, UI part, this is something that we'll cover in the next video. But in this particular video, we'll try to create this particular functionality. Whenever there is an input, and whenever there is a topic name, this will uh, create a prompt. This prompt will go to an LLM and then we'll get a response. And how are we going to do that? We are going to use Python for this. And we are going to use a Python library called Langchain. So don't worry if you don't have, uh, you know, a lot of coding experience. Let's say if you don't know Python, it is totally fine. If you know any other coding language, you will be able to follow. Uh, even if you have not written code any time uh, before, you will still understand most part of the it. Uh, you will still understand most part of the lecture. It shouldn't be a problem. Just watch it completely. Just try to practice it. So there is no additional installations required for this particular tutorial. So you can just follow along without any installation. So I'll show you uh, shortly how it is done. Now let us go ahead and try to create the backend part of this application right away. For this, I'm using a Google Colab. Google Colab is nothing but a uh, online uh, Python uh, notebook, right? So if you want to create something of your own, just go and type Colab. So you, you'll get a first option. Just go and click uh, this say new notebook. And you are good to go. You can just uh, go ahead and type in whatever you want in here. You can just follow it. So one thing that I would suggest uh, is that if you are learning this for the first time, just watch the video from start to end uh, once, uh, maybe 1.25x uh, or 1.5x. Just watch the entire video once and then open a new notebook and try to uh, 
do everything one by one don't copy paste the code from my notebook to your notebook just try to do uh, type everything by your own so that you learn each step uh, by heart right great now the first step is to install the libraries that we want so let me just zoom in this i think i think this is good to go yeah in this particular part, uh, what we'll be trying to do is we'll be doing, uh, we'll be installing the libraries called uh, Langchain and OpenAI. This will help us use the GPT models within our particular notebook. I think installation is done. Generally, you will see some uh, some messages written here, so not a problem. Here, uh, what we'll be doing again is uh, we'll be uh, loading a API key. One thing that you need to understand is whenever you're using chat GPT, GPT models or anything, these models are owned by OpenAI, right? These models are owned by OpenAI. And whenever you want to use those models, you need to supply a permission key or an API key to be able to use it. And how do you get it? It's very easy to create. Just uh, the link is given in the notebook. This notebook link will be attached in the link below. So you can uh, follow along. Just click on this particular link. So if you have not logged in already before, so it will ask you to log in. But if you are logging in directly, it should open this page. Just say create a new secret key. Just type first app. So I have the key ready here. Just make sure that you are not uh, sharing this key with anyone. This is a private key which is specific to you. So even I am going to delete this particular key after the lecture. So anyone will not be able to use it. So just copy this particular key. Good to go. And now let us just uh, feed this particular key in the notebook. Great. Now it is done. What we will try to do first is that let us just try to use this particular model to generate some uh, random queries right so let me just ask what is internet let me just ask some random things to it and let us see how it is responding the way that you do is from langchain you import openai library that is done by the single line and we are accessing the gpt model here we are creating a GPT model here and uh, the model name that we are using is text DaVinci 003. It's an older version of uh, GPT model, but since this is a basic application, it will work. And in further videos, I'll be using uh, more uh, advanced models like chat models and so on and so forth. But for now, this will do the job. Just run this particular cell. I think the cell is already run. Great. Now, I think I've already run this before. So, but let me just go ahead and do it this again. So here uh, you can see GPT model dot predict what is internet it is giving us an output here. So let me just show you what is happening. Whenever you type in a prompt. So this is a prompt that you are using. This is passed through the GPT three model. The GPT model is created somewhere here, right? So it is being passed through this particular GPT model and this this is giving us the response. So the basic part is done, right? So basic part is done where uh, we have actually taken a prompt. We have actually taken a prompt and we have passed it to an LLM and we got a response. This particular part is already done. So let us just try to create this particular part as well. So how do we do that? We use something called a prompt template. Prompt template is used to create a prompt just based on simple inputs. Let me show you how that is done. Let me just clear this. So yeah, and you can ask it any number of queries. So here I, as you have, as you can see here, I have asked uh, multiple different questions, right? I have asked, uh, please write an innovative tweet on Elon Musk. It is giving me an answer. I just asked it to give me three tweets on World War One. It is giving me the answer, right? So you can ask it anything. It will just uh, function as ChatGPT itself. Now uh, we were discussing about the prompt template. So given any two inputs, given any two inputs, 10 inputs or so on, we need to combine these inputs and then create a prompt out of it, right? We'll try to do the same thing. How do you do that? You from Langchain, you, you say that you import a prompt template and in prompt template, this is how you create a template, right? Uh, you just type, give me, uh, just put it in flower packets. What is it? Whatever is the input number tweets on 
flower brackets and again topic so whenever you are putting these brackets it will uh, it will say that this is the input that we are going to supply you can see i have created a prompt here where tweet prompt is equal to prompt template and the input variables are number and topic let's say your application had lot of variables let's say your application also had a tone or some other variable in it so you would say give me a uh, number tweets on topic in dash tone so that is how you create uh, a prompt template this is again a very basic uh, structure you can create very complicated prompt templates as well let me just run this so uh, i have created a prompt template here let us see if our prompt template is working correctly or not so i'll pass it in uh, the number and a topic as an input and let us see how it is working this plus enter so give me seven tweets on a so it is working fairly well right so the input is passed and the topic is passed so this is the prompt template that we have created now uh, let us go back and see here so we have uh, in this particular uh, part we have this part ready initially right prompt llm and response and we also have this particular part here right now we'll try to combine these two if we combine uh, both of these two we are going to get uh, uh, the final application that we want i'm doing the same thing here and how do we do it we do it using an llm chain uh, so here if you look at uh, this this is the user input it is going to a prompt template the prompt template is going to an llm and then we are getting a generated output here the way that you create a llm chain the way that you create an llm chain is very simple whenever you want to create an llm chain you just uh, pass in the variable prompt and llm so the llm that you are wanting to use here is uh, the gpt model and the prompt that you are wanting to use is the tweet prompt that you have created here great now let us see if it is working properly or not let me just delete great now uh, now that we have the tweet chain ready let us just try to see if you are able to you know get whatever we want here uh, let me run this tweet chain and i'm saying the number of tweets are 10 and the topic is road safety so we are actually getting 10 tweets here if you want to i have put together a small loop here just to give an imitation of what is going to happen in the app if i just run this particular uh, loop here it is just asking us to enter the topic topic let me just go ahead and type in the same same topic world war 1 enter number of topics 3 so we are getting three topics here and you can go ahead and try it with a different uh, different topics different number of tweets this notebook will be available in the comments below you can just go ahead click it and directly run it no other installs just try to do this and this is the basic back end part of the application in the next video we'll try to cover the front end part so until then uh, subscribe for the channel 